something double digit thousands back. <laughs> for ceramic tile. First of all, when you walk in a house, you're going to have your standard three-quarter inch subfloor that's on the floor before we start anything. And then we're going to want to go with a three-eighths standard four by eight plywood that's rough on both sides. You don't want to go with a smooth side because the bond is just a lot better to, to um, the mortar is a lot better to bond to a rough-sided uh, plywood rather a smooth. And smooth is more expensive, so you just want to get a standard rough both sides uh, plywood. So, we're just going to show you example of a standard subfloor when you walk into the house. Let's just say uh, this is your subfloor. And these are the sheets here. So you can see that the seams are separate. So now when you want to throw your underlay down, you want to actually cross the seams like this. We get a different marker here. When installing your subfloor, your underlay, sorry, that's what you want to do. You want to make sure you're getting half and half to cover this up. So when that's covered up, see this will work. You won't see the floor. That will be your standard underlay. Okay? Now, when screwing down your underlay, you actually want to go every four inches on the seam, all the way around. And always remember to get this corner here. There's a lot of mistakes that happen in the corners when people are installing. Just always make sure you get that screw there and to get as close to the seam as possible. So you're going to have another sheet here, let's say, and like I said, you want to get the screws again closest to the seam. And always remember to get that corner. And in the field, you want to go six inches in the field, all the way down the plywood, and four inches on the seams. Every seam, both sides. Now what's really important here is when installing your underlay, you want to at least make sure you have an eighth of an inch space in between your underlay here. And why this is so important, because when wood gets wet, it starts to swell. And if it doesn't have any room between the two pieces of underlay, it will end up buckling like so. Like see, if this is your underlay like this, I got my eighth of an inch here, which is good, right? But if I put the two sheets together, like so, what's going to happen is, if it does get wet and wants to swell, it's going to want to do this. So if I put my tile on top of this and it swells, it's going to end up popping my tile. So that's why it's so important to keep an eighth of an inch everywhere you put your underlay spacing. Eighth of an inch everywhere you put, and remember, every four inches on the seams, and every six inches, they say six to eight, but I like to do six inches in the field. Okay, very important. Four inches on the seams, Six inches in the field, we're going with three inch ply, rough both sides, on top of three quarter inch underlay, or sorry, um, subfloor. Now, if you don't want to go that route, actually, let me just stay here for a minute, for a second here, is I got screws to show you. This is actually the proper screw to use. That's actually an inch and a quarter screw, and it's a double collated screw, so you'll see there's a thick thread. And there's a fine thread. I'm hoping I can show you this. For some people, contractors, people that want to do it themselves, they want to go with a wood screw and it's just a core screw. Not a good screw to use. And first of all, that's a two inch screw. You don't need two inches. You only need an inch and a quarter. And a lot of people like to use this drywall screw. And that's only a coarse thread screw. 
That's also an inch and a quarter, but what happens is when you screw the, the, the screw into the floor, as soon as it hits the floor, the screw starts to spin. So what's going to happen is now I'm not having a tight um, underlay to the floor, now I'm going to have movement and that's going to cause the tile to crack. So never use a drywall screw. These wood screws that have coarse threads, I don't recommend these. This is the proper screw right here. It's an inch and a quarter, double correlated, underlay screw. Okay? Now, now I've done that, there's also another way you can go with subfloors is you can use a Ditra or a Ditra XL. Now a Ditra here is an, is an eighth of an inch thick and what's great is for this is um, you can compensate with height issues. So if you have a laminate floor you're buttoning up to or um, hardwood or whatever and how thick your tile is, you can adjust and save yourself an eighth of an inch by going with just the Ditra over Ditra XL is actually 5 16 so it can raise your floor higher so if you want to go up to hardwood hardwood and your tile match really flush with using the Ditra XL. And why this is so great too for underlay, you don't have to screw this down, and it's actually dovetailed in the squares here. What I mean dovetailed is every square goes like this, okay? So when the cement come, when the mortar goes into this field, into these squares, it gets caught and trapped so it doesn't have any room to, to move out. And if there's any movement in your floor, what happens is your teacher is actually going to do the movement to compensate for your tile where it's not going to have crack issues. So if there's anywhere in your teacher that has any slight movement, the teacher will move slightly to shift, but your tile won't move at all. Really great product to use. It's getting more and more popular every day. Um, Myself, I'd recommend this over wood so you don't have to screw and it acts as actually a crack isolation membrane. This is really good for concrete floors in your basements, your bathrooms, whatsoever. Great product to use. So I hope this helped you for use, um, with installing underlay. You have choices between Dietrich, Dietrich XL, you got um, your hardwood or your, um, your plywood, whatever comes first. But always remember when you're installing your sub floors, 3 8 ply, rough both sides. Four inches on the seams, every six inches in the field, and an eighth of an inch gap between each sheet to allow for expansion. If the wood swells, it has room to move. I'm Joe Gage, your Red Seal Certified Tile Setter. Till next time, see you later. Counting double digit thousands.